So it's been about 10 months since I switched my drivetrain and dropper on my main trail bike to a wireless setup. And I can't tell you how blown away I still am from this. Now I plan to talk about this setup after a year, but I'm a busy guy and I have work things planned. So here we are now. This legit has been one of the best upgrades, or I should say one of my favorite upgrades that I've done to any bike. The removal of the cables didn't really improve the performance of the bike, but it has improved my quality of life. With the exception of making sure the batteries are charged, I can just pick this bike up at a moment's notice and it still performs as it did when I first installed the components. No need to adjust tensions, install new cables. Sometimes I wish I really didn't have to check anything about my bike before going out. Not having to worry about cables just makes this bike more capable to grab and go. One major complaint of course I would have is of course the price. The RockShox Reverb Axis and SRAM GX Axis aren't cheap by any stretch of the imagination. With that being said, I would see myself swapping these components to a new bike, as opposed to something like the MicroShift Advent X which works well above its price point, which I might leave on the bike that it's on because it just wasn't that expensive and I don't really think about it that much. Another key aspect of the SRAM GX Axis that I do like is the ability to make micro adjustments on the trail by pressing the Axis button and the shift up or down keys without the need for tools on the trail to make traveling lighter. Now that's not advice, bring a multi-tool, you never know what's going to happen, I'm just letting you know, you don't exactly need a tool for this. For those worried on what happens if a battery dies, well, they're both interchangeable with each other, meaning you can use your dropper's battery in your drivetrain and vice versa. That is only if you have to. Typically, I try to make sure to charge this the night before I ride. I also like the clutter-free setup and the clean bike look while it only has the brake hoses. If I had to make a single complaint about the bike's appearance, it would be the addition of, of the electrical tape to plug up these holes. Now that's a choice I made because the proper replacements are about $20, while the tape is just something I had around the house. I'm not sorry about this. The whole thing was expensive to begin with. I'm not gonna spend another $20 just to plug up these holes. For those who still wanna know how fast does it work, honestly, right away, as soon as you press a button, And with all that being said, I am an absolute fan of these components. I may upgrade the bike at some point down the road, but I would see myself moving the components from this bike to whatever new bike I get down the road. I'm amazed at how they still work as well as they did when I first got them, and how they continue to work today. The bike looks so much cleaner, the performance is outstanding, the price is not that great. I know I mentioned that already, but you know, some sticks with you, and honestly, you could probably buy a whole another project bike for this price, but... I don't regret buying this at all. With all that being said, these components do give me something that I do appreciate. And that's the peace of mind to know that my bike's always ready to ride at a moment's notice. And with the way the heat's been in California lately and the rest of the United States, I really haven't been going out as often as I would like. So it's nice to know that I don't have to worry about adjusting anything or fiddling with a barrel knob or placing a stretched out cable. I know that my bike is ready when I am. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. For those of you still with me, I would like to thank all of you who rode with me today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>